you're in the middle of a hilarious story. Everyone is laughing. You're waving your arms around to embellish your point, and boom, you spill your wine on the table, on your dining companion shirt, on the rug. What do you do? I've tried pretty much every method of red wine stain removal, from salt to club soda to white wine. I've even read of people using shaving foam. In my vast experience, none of these techniques really work that well, and the white wine trick is just a waste of wine. But never fear, because I have a super easy, super effective tip for you. The second the stain occurs, you grab that stain material, you boil the kettle, and you have somebody hold the stained area taut over a large bowl or the sink. Obviously, make sure you take off your shirt before you do this. Then you just pour the boiling water all over the red wine stain and just keep pouring and pouring until it's either disappeared or it's just a very, very pale pink. And then if you just washed as usual, should come right out. This trick also works really well with all red and black fruit stains, but you have to do it when the stain is fresh. Sadly, the boiling water technique does not work so well for carpets or rugs because you can damage the fiber by pouring too much liquid on it. So here you're going to have to work a little bit harder. Start by pouring a little bit of cool water. If you have an empty spritz bottle, even better. Just a little bit of cool water on the stain and then try and dab up with a cloth as much excess liquid as you can. And then use a carpet cleaning solution or if it's a paler rug, you can use a mixture of equal parts hydrogen peroxide and dish soap. Dab this on the stained area, wait for 15 minutes, and then take cool water and dab and clean it off until the stain is removed. Just don't try this on darker rugs because hydrogen peroxide will bleach the fabric. Unfortunately for old dried out wine stains, you're probably out of luck unless it's a white garment and you don't mind bleaching it. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. If you're already a fan, give me a little thumbs up or a comment. And join me next time for another Wine 101. Until then, sante.